Every year, thousands of people fly into Salt Lake City. Make their way up a winding canyon road through nine known avalanche paths. They brave the coldest temperatures and the harshest conditions you can imagine. Why do they do it? This pure, dry Utah powder, the greatest snow on earth. Snowbird and Alta are the Taj Mahal of the deep stuff. Located deep in the heart of Little Cottonwood Canyon, these areas average over 500 inches of snowfall each year. And this year's been epic. They've both reached the 500 inch mark by the middle of February. We've got two days here, and we're gonna explore as much terrain as possible. We're gonna experience this incredible powder, and we're gonna identify the common characteristics, the discernible differences, and the notable nuggets of knowledge you need to know before you come to Alta and Snowbird. Common characteristic number one between Alta and Snowbird is their size. They both are right around the 2,500 skiable acre size, and Snowbird boasts 169 runs, serviced by 13 lifts. Alta is similar in size. It's about 2,600 acres, six lifts, 119 runs, but only around 15% would be considered to be suitable for beginners. first discernible difference between the two mountains is that although Snowbird allows both skiers and snowboarders, Alta is one of only three North American ski areas that does not allow snowboarders. So if you plan to board, Alta is not the place for you. The next discernible difference between the two is here. It's the Peruvian Tunnel. Proving Express is a 600 foot long magic carpet ride that connects the front side to the back side of the old base of old head Snowbird. Snowbird has it, Alta doesn't. In fact, Snowbird is the only resort with anything like this of its kind in North America. the mineral basin. If you're a big fan of the wide open, deep powder, big carving terms type of skiing, then both of these places have a common characteristic. They're fantastic bowl skiing opportunities. Today with our friend Ryan Powell. Ryan is brand new. He's a beginner. This is almost his first day. He's a young guy, but I think he's probably going to be able to get that Jimboree sponsorship he's hoping for. Ryan, what do you think the conditions have been like out here today? It's sendable, but not full sendable. Sendable, but not full sendable. A little crunchy. It's, uh, it's softened up throughout the day. Got a little bit warmer. The sun hit it. A couple icy spots today. For the most part, a pretty good day. Another of the common characteristics between Alta and Snowbird is the price. Although there is certainly no such thing as cheap snow skiing anymore, Alta and Snowbird probably run about 30% less than some of their bigger Park City neighbors like Deer Valley or Park City Mountain Resort. You can buy an Alta Pass, you can buy a Snowbird Pass, or you can buy an Alta Bird, which is good at both. And both of these places are part of the Icon family of resorts. And if you get the Alta Bird Pass, there's one spot where both resorts are connected. So you can go back and forth be between the resorts in a single day.
And now let's talk about a few notable nuggets of knowledge you need to know when visiting Snowbird and Alta. Alta and Snowbird are definitely all about the on-slope experience. The conditions, the terrain, all of it's incredible. If you're looking for more of an apres ski, nightlife, maybe a classic ski town, this may not be where you want to come. But if you're looking for exceptional skiing, this is definitely it. If you're a good, solid, intermediate skier, you'll find yourself right at home here. On-site lodging is limited. Many guests do what we are doing this week and stay right outside the mouth of the canyon and drive into the ski areas during the day. If staying on site is an absolute must for you, plan to book early and be prepared that the accommodations are pricey. Make sure you have a parking plan before you come. Whether you're doing valet, a prepaid lot, or if you're gonna ride the shuttle, I'm not advocating one over the other, but if you don't have a plan for your parking ahead of time, you will be frustrated. To the best of my recollection, I've skied over 20 different places in eight states from California to the Carolinas. The skiing here at Alta and Snowbird is definitely close to the top of the list. So that wraps up our two days here in the Little Cottonwood Canyon. If you're a good experienced or intermediate skier looking for a new challenge, looking for some exciting terrain and great powder, get here as fast as you can. Let me know what I missed, drop it in the comments below. And until next time, on to the next adventure. We share our favorite food, wine, and travel experiences on Fridays. Click on the bell on your screen and get notified of all of our new adventures.